All right, here is the armored armadillo stage. So first thing you want to do, as soon as X teleports down, you want to jump straight to the cart like that. Now when you land on the cart, you want to pop these bats. So one, two, three. There's three bats. Sometimes you want to pop that second set of bats. I believe it is one, two, three, and then one, two. So jump to the cart. One, two, three. One, two. That should be all you need. After you kill that ostrich, start charging. And do that, but I'll try and explain that in more detail. So jump here. One, two, three. One, two. Like make sure you time it right. Kill ostrich, start charging. Uh, because I do what's called the booty grab setup, which is their uh, phantom grab. I walk to the edge of the cart. You don't have to, but it helps. So as the cart is about to hit this ostrich, you want to jump like so that you, uh, you get past... Uh, how, do, how do I show it off? You get past this part of the ceiling. You want to jump past that, so like that. Now, when you're jumping, you're letting go of your blast so that it kills all the bats on the ceiling. And then you're firing one follow-up blast behind it. So, I let, look what happens when I just let go. Let me explain it like this. If I let go of the blast alone and then I jump at the ostrich, it doesn't die. But, if I let go of the blast and follow up of a lemon, I jump at the ostrich and dies. So, you just want to sneak a blast. Assume every time from now on I'm sneaking a blast behind. Alright? So, right now, this tutorial is not going to cover the booty grab, which uh, I'll tr attempt to do here a few times, just to show what it is. Yeah, just like that. I grabbed the sub-tank from right back here. As you can see, there's no sub-tank, but if I load my state, and... See, there's a sub-tank here. Because I used it one of those phantom those phantom grabs from earlier to uh, to manage to get it, and this phantom grab here it relies on pure luck and a lot of skill. So you need this. You really need this front bat to drop something. I'll show it off one more time just to show you what the phantom grab is. There we go. Got it again. I'm pretty good at that grab. So anyway, we're not gonna do that this tutorial. So you're gonna kill your ostrich. You're gonna jump up here. You're just gonna go kill these two bats and then you're gonna jump down and start dashing. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, the ostrich is back alive, I'll tell you what we'll do, just so I can show it more from the beginning. Let's pretend you kill your ostrich, you jump, you just start dashing, and you jump down, and we'll, we'll save stay here. Once you land, just get through this corridor as fast as you can. There's no fancy tricks here. Get through, make sure you switch the sea sting, though. You can pop some bats along the way. I like to use my sea sting right when I pass these like double rocks, these rocks that kind of look like a butt, use your sea sting like this. Well, no, not like that. I let the... This guy's chasing you, by the way. If he catches you, you're gonna die. So just a FYI, that's, that's happening. So I like to pop this guy, and when I get up here, I like to fire my sea sting like right when I'm like, when the sea sting is in there, because when you do that, I'll try and do it in one fell motion. Like somewhere in there. Oh, and also I forgot to mention when you fire that sea sting, you want to be charging. So, charging. You kill that bat. Now unleash your charge right when that you're about to hit that bat, and just you're just skating through this section. That's all you're doing. You're just skating through the section. Like a lot of this stage is just you're riding carts and skating through sections. Really, there there's not much to talk about. Uh, let me, uh, so here, like, you're skating through this section, you're killing guy, the only thing you have to remember, see sting at the butt rocks, charge, and then, you're all, and the thing is, we're not even really dashing when we get to this, we're just jumping, and jumping again. So yeah, you're dashing in these areas, dashing and jumping just to avoid the obstacles, see sting butt rocks, charge, jump up here, then here, then at that bat, and just like... So the idea is jump down without clipping this thing. So that it sucks when you do that. So I take it you have the idea. Sea sting butt rocks. Jump, 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 and pop the sea sting right when you're about to hit this bat. And you should land right down and dashing and jumping, dashing and jumping, dashing and jumping. You can throw a sea sting at those bats if you want. The idea is you're just trying to get to each cart as fast as possible. Dashing and jumping, dashing, what do you do? Sea sting butt rocks. 
Oh. And yeah, just dashing, jumping, dashing, jumping, dashing, jumping, dashing, jumping. Sometimes you can go for double back kill. Alright, so this one. You wanna make sure you go back to Buster. You wanna stand around right here on the spike. Like right here. Because you want the spike to be able to kill that last miner. When that last miner blows up, it's uh this guy. When he blows up, that's your signal to jump. Boom! You're jumping here, you land about here, and then you're jumping straight into the hole. Now, about this hole, so remember, uh, I believe there's four miners along this track. I should have saved stated elsewhere. You know, just for you guys, I'll, I'll, I'll confirm this. Let me go back up there. Yeah, that, that looks like four to me. I'll go back up here just to confirm this on this cart. So I'll save state here on this cart. Alright, so you're going down. Really, you just want to be on Buster. And just stand on, like, not all the way at the edge. You want the spike to be before X's foot. Like, this isn't going to work. You see how I got hit? You want to stand so that X is... The spike is ahead of X's foot. Like that. That's probably good. Jump there. Jump there. And when you're jumping down, you could land on this mole driller guy. So, here, I'll save stay closer now that you know what to do. This cart ride's really simple. Just make sure you're... X's foot is behind the spike and jump at that last minor guy. So as you're jumping down, if you obviously if you fall straight down, you die. So you don't want to fall and then I would say the visual cue, you see this ledge? When this ledge gets near like the mid or top of your screen, that's when you dip to the right. So let's see. Yeah, just dip to the right. And then you wanna dash in here. Uh I'm I'm debating if I should show this boomerang trick or not because it might be considered advanced. Just make sure that you, the boomerang trick is basically jump, rang, jump. That's all it is at the end of the day. It's simple, but a lot of people have trouble with it. That you're doing four dashes in here, by the way. Jump, rang, jump. So the way I like to do it is set yourself up by jumping right before this, right? What four dashes, right? What four dashes? What? Oh my god. One, two, th wow, something's eating my inputs, but anyway. One, two, three, make sure you're on boom rank four, jump dash jump. I mean, one, two, three, four, jump rang jump. It's actually jump, dash jump rang, dash jump, dash jump rang, dash jump. Three, four, dash jump rang, dash jump, like that. One, two, three, or dash jump rank dash jump if you want to know use the rocks as like a visual cue like at least these two last rocks you can dash from there to there jump rank jump say it with me now say it with me in the middle jump rank jump let's see is there anything jump rank jump and just keep going all right last one jump rank jump so keep going jump from here to here you want to try and get on the minecart before the thing gets to you but honestly, it's probably not going to happen. All right. So we're on the we're going to jump. You want to try and jump to the left, not to the right of the minecart, but you want to try and jump to the left of the minecart and then get yourself in the middle cuz it's faster to get it moving when you start on the left. So, as soon as you're you might notice this slope right here. You see this slope as you're you're when you're on the straight bar here, you're going to fire two shots like one two, right? And the reason you're doing that is one two. Killing those two bats right there. You see that? One, two. Bat, bat. So repeat after me. So one, two. Bat, bat. One, two. Bat, bat. Now this part is going to be tough to teach. So not this guy, but this miner right here after after the platforms. Now the re there's a reason I'm pausing like this. I want you to pay attention to this miner. He's key. Make sure X is somewhere near the middle of the cart. When this miner gets killed... And when you go, like, one Mega Man X unit past him, immediately dash jump as far as you can off the cart, like so. Then when you land, dash jump again, and then neutral jump and get back on your cart. I messed up, so dash jump, dash jump again, neutral jump, no, I'm sorry. Dash jump, dash jump, forward jump. It's actually the forward. Dash jump, dash jump, hold forward without a dash. Wait till that miner guy blows up. 
Uh, this, is, this is so tough in slow motion. Wait till that minor guy blows up. Dash jump. That, this is so hard to do on one take. Dash jump, dash jump. We want to charge too. How am I going to teach that to you guys? Alright, this part's at least right. As soon as you pop this guy, dash jump, dash jump, hold forward and jump. Now you can chill till this miner's dead. When this miner's dead, you want to do like a dash jump, but not all the way, because you're going to hit the bat, so do one like that. So you land there. And then jump, jump. See, the idea, the object is not to spawn these birds, but it's so hard to show off like this. Let's see. Dash jump, jump. Start charging. Yeah, that's right. Basically, you want to you want to do this cart ride so that you don't spawn birds. Dash jump, dash jump, jump. Turn around, fire a shot. And when you're jumping off the ending ramp of the stage, you want to make sure you see the back of this uh, health bar. Like I would say, as long as you are not quite there. All right, you see where the health bar is relative to the screen. As long as you see that much of it, oh, I'll try and get you the height too. As long as you see what it is like right now, you'll get what's called a visit, and that's what ties the hundo category together. Anyway, you're supposed to be going into the boss door charging, charging a uh, spark shot, and then that's the boss fight, but I kind of want to keep showing this. Dash jump, dash jump, forward, dash jump, dash jump, forward, jump, and try and repeat that. I'm sorry I can't explain that anymore, it's a very fast section. Yeah, if you could do that without spawning birds and getting that visit, you're good. So let's explain the boss fight. So let's uh, make a save state. So as soon as the battle begins, all I'm going to do is dash towards him. The electric spark will just do its thing. That's the good pattern right there. You always want that pattern. Basically, he can roll around for damn near inf an infinite amount of time. The longer he rolls around, the worse it is for your time. So you want to dash. And, like, I would say when you get to the middle of the arena, that's when you jump over him. So dash, middle of the arena. And always fire a shot back, just in case. So dash, jump, fire a shot back. Now, if he's rolling around like this, try and shoot him as he lands on the floor. Because there's an okay chance of him busting out of his shell. So that's the best pattern. Dash jump, fire your shot backwards. See how that gets him? Now, if you do get him in the god pattern like this, give him time to blink. Give it, give his invincibility frames time. Oh, he's actually spinning. As long as his armor's off of him, you can hit him while he's spinning, by the way. So I like to time it every time he fires one of his head shots. That's when you can fire a spark. You can actually do it slightly before. See that time, So watch his head. Oh my god, he's not doing it. He's going to roll. Watch his head. So fire, he fires, I 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 fire. Now, most of the time, as you can see, you see how he's against the wall or was against the wall? You can make your, you can shoot your final spark shot above him. I'll demonstrate that in a second. So fire backwards, got him in the good pattern again. Now watch this. He fires, I fire, he fires, I fire, he fires, I fire, he fires, I fire, he fires, I fire. He fires, I fire. He fires. I now, your last shot right here, he has one health left. Aim a shot above him as soon as you can so that he you kill him as he's coming out of iframes. That was a bad example, but I'll try and show you another one. All right, I'm getting a lot of god patterns right now. He fires, I fire. 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 He fire. Now watch this last shot. Boom. See how I killed him on the wall so, like, the spark lingered on him? It, it, that's like a frame saver, but that's a that's an important thing you want to do. So that is the Armored Armadillo stage. Your next stage select, uh, you could do this one of two ways. If you're feeling frisky, you could do a diagonal up forward like that. Or, if you're feeling safe, just do upright. It's up to you. Depends on how frisky you're feeling. Up forward or upright. And then you go to Launch Octopus's stage. And... See you there.